today's fresh manna. 10 Ways You Are Receiving the Grace of God in Vain. Part 3. We then, as workers together with Him, beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. 2 Corinthians 6 1. Let us continue to meditate. 7. By being ungrateful to all His blessings. God has blessed us with all blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus already, Ephesians 1 3. Yet we keep begging for more blessings of worldly things that can never satisfy or fill us. We forget to give thanks for what He has already given us and fail to recognize His blessings of grace. 8. By not responding to His generosity. God has poured out His abundant blessings through our Lord Jesus Christ. Especially, the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, Romans 5 5. Often we fail to share His love and blessings with those who do not have. We are so selfish that we only think about ourselves and our own people. Yet, God has been very generous to us. When we fail to respond generously, we are belittling His grace and receiving it in vain. 9. By being weak and unstable in faith always. Some are so weak that it is boring to be with them. In the fellowship of believers, it is often discouraging to see some believers being so slow learners and often falling back and forth into their former ways of life. Thus receiving God's grace in vain. God expects us to grow and be firm in our faith and established and built up. See Colossians 2 6, 7. Paul had exhorted young Timothy to be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. See 2 Timothy 2 1. 10. By not growing from grace to glory. All that God has planned and has been working in and through a believer's life is to bring glory to his name. His grace was manifested to restore man to his original relationship and fellowship with God. Thus enabling man to glorify God by seeking for his perfect will in his life. Whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God, said Paul in 1 Corinthians 10:32. Believers in Christ need to grow from experiencing God's grace to glorifying Him in everything they do. Many people who have received the grace of God have nullified the effect of that grace in such ways as these listed above. Now is the day of salvation. Now is the time to give earnest heed to our calling and our election. 2 Peter 1 5-10 Be challenged. Aothniel. December 19, 2023. God bless you.